Okay, there are actually two minor things we need to do before, uh, well, we actually don't need to do them, but there are two minor things to take care of before we move on to making the text type itself out. The first is that I don't think we actually have to set our option text of our existing options after we create them, because I don't think they're actually going to change. They're never going to change in the array index of our uh, buttons box, so there's really no need to change the option index. So we can get rid of this. Just save a little space and a few wires moving around everywhere. And one more thing, when we hit play right now and show unselected options is true, if we go to our output log, hit play. Welcome back to this tutorial. Have you made a visual novel before? You'll notice that we get to the error. Invalid option equals number two and get option text. What's going on there? Well, over here when we set the, um, when we get our text to set our text for our option, when we use the select node, it's going through both of these. It has to go through both of these to find out which one's false, which one's true, and which one we're going to use. It doesn't just say, hey, this is true, so we're only going to look at this. Because it passes in through a reference instead of, well, I'm not sure what that option would be, but because it passes it in through a reference, it also has to go through get option text. And when it's going through get option text, the option it's getting is uh, 2 because that's the current index. But there is no valid option 2 in our test dialog over here. When it's uh, getting options, this is option 0 this is option 1, there is no option 2. So we don't actually really need to fix this because it's not going to cause it to crash or anything. However, if you do want to get rid of this error, it's fairly simple to do. Um, we can just off this get option text, we can use another select node. Select and that select node is going to be based off if we're showing unselected options or not. If we are, then, oh no, if we're not showing unselected options, we can just pass in the index. Otherwise, we can just pass in zero, because it really doesn't matter what this option text is, because we're only ever going to get the option text from get option text from all. I'm sorry, I did not mean to double click that. I need to stop doing that. Go back to Unreal. So we can just pass in zero. It doesn't really matter whatever we pass in as long as it's uh, within range. So to be safe, we just pass in zero because there is always going to be an option zero. So compile, save, hit play. We get over here and no error pops up. And none of these options are wrong. So I just thought I'd really quickly mention that um, these issues really weren't worth warranting another episode. So I'm just going to call this part 3.5 instead of part 4 because they were really not necessary to fix and they're really easy to fix, didn't take up much time. So in the next part, we are going to make the text type itself out.